Hello and welcome to the Yonatech video series. I'm John Yonan and this is a continuation of part one. So this is part two of the initial uh, setup of a Cisco router. Uh, we talked about earlier uh, how to set the router name and configure the enable passwords. We're going to continue with passwords now and we're going to secure the, uh, the console port, the Telnet uh, ports and the auxiliary port, and then we'll move on to uh, password encryption. Okay, so we are still logged into Home Router 1, and I'm going to do a show. Oh, let's get into enable mode or uh, privileged exec mode. Enable, tab, enter. Password, it was S3CR3T, and we are in. Now I am going to do a show run for running config. And if you go towards the end here, you'll notice you see the line con0, line aux0, line vty0 space 4. And I'll explain login in a second. Let's secure the uh, console port first. First thing you need to do is go into configuration terminal, uh, into global configuration mode using config terminal. And there we are. What we're going to do is we're going to type in line space console zero. Essentially, we're going to go into uh, the uh, line mode. OK, enter. You'll notice that it changes here from config to config-line. All right, so we are now working on all of the commands will be related to this particular interface, this console port interface. All right, so what we want to do is we want to type password space, and I'm just going to type uh, console so we kind of remember what this is. You hit enter. Now you've assigned a password to that console port. But it's very important, and please don't forget this, it's very impi important at this point to type in login. Uh, that enables the password checking at login. If you don't do that, you're not going to get a login prompt with the, you know, to put in your password. And without that, you're not going to get into this router. So don't, don't forget to uh, type in login. Hit enter. Now, let's uh, let's jump back and let's do a show run. And now you'll see we are all set. Now again, this is in clear text. Uh, there's something that we're going to do in a bit that's going to um, that's going to password protect or or encrypt that. Uh, that clear text password. All right, so let's do the same thing for the auxiliary port. We go into configuration terminal. We type in line space AUX space zero, enter, and we're going to type in password space, and we're going to type in modem, enter. Now, remember, we got to type in login or we get locked out. All right. Uh, now we'll go back out. And now we have to do the virtual terminal, the VTY ports. See this right here? Zero to four. There are five total. Zero, one, two, three, and four. So we go into configure terminal. We type in pass, I'm sorry, we type in line space VTY space zero space four, enter. Now we're in VTY line mode. And we type in password space, we'll just do telnet, enter. 
And of course, we have to type in login or we won't be asked to enter a password. Now let's get back out and let's do a show run. All right, we've got three passwords. The password is console for the con zero, which is the console port. Password is modem for the auxiliary port, and the password is telnet for the VTY or telnet ports. All right, um, let's save our configuration. Copy, run, start, enter, enter, and that's saved. Now we are going to move on to encryption. So let's. Uh, by the way, let me let me just show you something here. If I were to type in conf t and get into global configuration mode, let's say that I wanted to do a show command here. Let's say I want to do a show run. I could type in show run and I hit enter. It doesn't understand that because the show commands uh, for running config are in the uh, privileged exec mode. But there's a, there's a shortcut that we can introduce. It's called the do command. So if I were to type do space show run, hit enter, and it is going to run even though I am in the wrong mode. So just uh, keep that in mind, and you can do that with a number of different commands. All right, so now that we are in global configuration mode, we are going to apply some encryption to the passwords. All right, so what we can do is type service space, let's just do a question mark here, and we're gonna do password dash encryption, this one right here. It's gonna encrypt system passwords. So even though these are in clear text now, let's see what happens. So P-A-S-S, -S, there are no further ones that start with P-A-S-S, -S, so we can hit tab. Anything else? Let's hit the question mark. No, carriage return. So we hit enter. <clears throat> All right. Now let's see what uh, is in our running config. Do show run. Enter. And look at that. Even though this is not very good encryption, at least it's something. There are some tools on the internet that allow you to uh, enter th this encrypted number and letter combination into the web interface and it will reveal what that password is. But at least it gives us some level of encryption. All right, let's see if there's anything else that uh, I want to talk about. All right, going through my notes. Let's, uh, let's look at something here that I think is pretty important. We'll exit out of here. And there's a really great command. It is uh, show IP interface brief. Now, if I were to type this thing all out, IP interface brief, and hit enter, it's going to show me what are the interfaces that are available on this router and what's the status of them. So right now we've got a fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we talked about earlier in the last video that the first 0 is the slot and the second is the port. Uh, then we've got fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. They are administratively down and their protocol is down. This one, the VLAN, uh, we'll talk about that in a little while, but that is a virtual port, and it can be used for a number of different things. Uh, let's move from privileged exec mode into interface mode, and let's go to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 so we can manage it. What we'd do is we'd go into uh, 
configure terminal. Then we would type interface fe uh, 0 slash 0 and hit enter. Okay. Interface fe space 0 slash 0. Hmm. Up arrow. There we go. <laughs> it's not FE for fast Ethernet, it's just FA, of course. We, if we were to also type in, let's exit back out. If we were to type in interface, hit spacebar, FA for fast Ethernet, FA, type the tab key, then we would go 0 slash 0, and now we're in the uh, sub-interface or the, I'm, I, I apologize, the interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0. I don't know why I was typing FE. Um, okay, so now you'll notice we are in configure interface mode. And we can do a number of different things here to, uh, uh, to this interface. I'm not going to show you anything just yet about configuring the specific interface. We'll do that in another video. But I want to show you how we can get from one interface to another very quickly. Even though right now we are in the uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface, if we wanted to move to uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, all we have to do is type the same commands. Even though we're in the, the interface uh, uh, mode, we can still type interface fa0 slash 1 and now we are in the 0 slash 1 interface all right um, let's see if what else we can come up with here You know what, in our next video, we're going to configure a serial interface and we will also start assigning IP addresses and uh, the serial interfaces will have clock rates and we'll show you how to do the no shutdown command and a few other things. So uh, stay tuned for part three. Thank you.